Hey guys, Coach Brandon Echo from the Distinctly Extraordinary Coaching Channel with another tip. So friends, as we start to wrap up our discussion on the best way to overcome boredom and stress eating, let's recap through the lessons we've learned so far. Starting off with, you've got to fix your mindset. It's the foundation. Strategy number two, learning how to eat a balanced diet. Strategy number three, of course, we've already discussed is by far the hardest, and this is changing your routine because we are creatures of habits. However, my friends, strategy number four is the game changer. It's the game changer. When we can learn our hunger and fullness cues, we're off to the races, my friends. So let's dive into what this looks like. The most important thing you can do to assure you're following the natural patterns of hunger and fullness is to get in tune with them. By learning more about your own hunger and your own fullness, you can become more intuitive as an eater. Let's use the intuitive eating hunger scale as a tool to help you get in tune and reestablish what is your hunger and fullness cues. Different feels different for different people. But here are some frequencies that we have heard from all of our clients with the various numbers on this scale. It fits everybody. It's just a little bit different for different people. So let's begin with how to use this scale. So we're gonna begin with a meal or two each day and you're going to see where you fall on this scale gauging your hunger prior to eating so before you eat i want you to ask am i actually hungry what is my current hunger level the ideal time to eat is somewhere between the level three and four when you feel hungry and there might be a slight hunger pain we're going to gauge our fullness before we end and we're going to follow this up with the same process how full do i feel after a meal and we're looking to fall somewhere between like the six and the eight, seven, full and satisfied feeling. So friends, let's dive into what this intuitive eating hunger scale looks like in reverse order. Level 10, my friends, binge eating. This level of fullness makes you feel absolutely physically sick. You have ate so much. Level nine is a Thanksgiving day full. You are uncomfortably full. Think about having a food coma, like you ate so much, it's time to hit a nap. And it feels like you probably should change into some sweatpants, level full. Moving on into level number eight, you are uncomfortably full, almost how you would feel after leaving a good restaurant. You are slightly rounded at your tummy, but there's definitely a fullness to your stomach. Level number seven, you are satisfied, but not stuffed. Your stomach feels satisfied. There's a little bit of roundness to it, but there's no physical uncomfortableness to how you feel after this level of fullness. Level six, it's a tricky one. You're filling up, but you're not quite full. Your stomach is no longer empty and you're starting to feel more full, but there's still a desire to eat more food. Level number five, this is neutral. How you would feel after a couple hours of having a very satisfied meal. Level number four, friends, low battery. You're thinking about food. There's definitely a hunger to have like some snacks. Your energy level is a little bit low, and there's a slightly empty feeling to your stomach, but there's no pain yet. Level number three, warning. This is meal level hungry. The stomach feels empty, but you're not uncomfortable yet. There's a slight gnawing in your stomach, but it's not overly strong, but you definitely have low energy. And at this point, you're thinking about food a lot. Level number two, my friends, this one is where we are hangry. Like we have now got a mood that has been affected by this level of hungry. You feel a little bit shaky, a little bit dizzy. There's even a slight headache at this point. Level number one, you're very uncomfortable. You're dizzy, you feel faint. There's a severe headache. There might even be some nausea, but you are so hungry, you're not actually hungry at all. So if you're not quite sure if you're hungry or not, here are some helpful distinctions. Physical hunger comes from when the body is in need of energy. You're gonna notice a significant signal change. The stomach's growling, there's fatigues, there's even some headaches. Thoughts of balanced meals and snacks will probably sound appealing, but if you feel it's in your mouth, you might double check that it's hydration and not a hunger pain. Because remember friends, sometimes the hunger cues are misconstrued for the hydration cues. But when you feel or experience emotional hunger, you may start with craving some something like a specific food without the traditional hunger signs, symptoms, or pains. 
if you typically balanced meals, you're not sounding at this point like it's very appealing. And you have that one thing that you want at this point. It could be a salty or a sweet or maybe an odd combination of the two. It's emotional or stress calling for food at this point instead of actual hunger. So guys, I hope this intuitive eating scale helps because I want to again, thank you, thank you, thank you for trusting your health and wellness journey to us in the Distinctly Extraordinary Society. Guys, this is Coach B signing off with another tip. Until next time.